Hi students, so in this video, I am going to tell about what we are going to do in phase 2 of Eclavel program and how the students are going to access the content, what is the plan, the session plan, the test plan and everything else around it. So this session is particularly for those students who have enrolled themselves in the Eclavel program and they are gearing up for participating in phase 2 of the program. Uh, in short, uh, what is Eclavel program? Eclavel program is a rank booster program for JE advanced, so that it is what it is. So let's quickly jump to in you know, the overall structure of the program. So there are four phases, the phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. The phase one is exposure phase, phase two is grinding phase, taming J mains phase and phase four is the rising phase. We are done with phase one. So phase one was from October, August 17 to September 27. We are done with this now. I mean, we'll soon be done with this if not done yet. And then the phase two commences from October 7. So what you need to do for phase two. Okay, guys. So uh, in phase two, uh, we'll be having, we will be uh, covering the phase 2 in 11 week, um, 6 week will be devoted to grade 11 and 5 weeks will be devoted to grade 12, okay. And in, at the end of every week, there would be a test. The test will be on the syllabus that we have covered during the week and the pattern would be the old JE pattern. I will explain everything regarding this in detail in a short while, all right. So the timetable that you are going to have in phase 2 would look like this, all right. So again, this is the tentative thing. Here and there, slight changes may be there uh, because of, uh, you know, sometimes the teacher may not be available because of illness, because of some other uh, exigencies. So, more or less, the timetable is going to look like this. Physics will be taken by me. All right, I am the permanent one for physics in Iklave. Uh, maths and chemistry. So, these will be taken by, maths will be taken by Amit uh, Kumar Singh, sir. All right, he is the HOD of mathematics at Vedantu. Till now, maths was taken by Surendra, sir. He was the uh, HOD of the topper division. And now, maths will be taken by Amit Kumar, sir. Chemistry will be taken by Nitin Munro, sir. Again, a very, very experienced teacher. All right. The Iklave program is a very long program. And the Iklave is the responsibility. It is the collective responsibility of all the senior teachers here at Vedantu. And you will see, uh, you know, faces changing. The teachers changing during this program according to the need of the student, according to the expertise of the teacher, and also according to the uh, requirement of the students. All right. So, physics, I am the permanent one. Okay, so this is going to be the schedule. Uh, the test details are present here. Of course, you can take a snapshot of this, but don't worry guys, I'll provide you something else. I'll provide you a different tool that will give you all the details regarding the test. All right, so this is, uh, you know, first five tests, details of first five tests, the uh, details of the next uh, six tests. So, uh, of course, I don't want you to actually click photographs of this and I mean, you can click it, uh, but I what I'm not hoping is that you click those photographs and then you preserve them to refer to uh, the dates of the test. Instead, I'll give you this spreadsheet. All right. Uh, this spreadsheet has been shared in the content library of the students who have enrolled in the Eclave batch. So, if you have already joined Eclave batch, when you log into your Vedantu account, uh, then there is a section called content library. Uh, if you go there, you will find this spreadsheet. I can also share this. I can and I will also share this spreadsheet in the Telegram group of the batch. Also, and you can also find this in your content library. Okay. Now, what does this sheet tell you? So, let me demonstrate everything to you. So, when I click on that link, this sheet has opened up. Okay, let me increase the percentage here so that, uh, uh, you know, this becomes clearly visible to each and everyone. I hope this is visible now. So, okay. So, first of all, the schedule is there. Okay. Uh, the schedule is there. You can, of course, make a copy of the sheet and then you can work with it if in case, uh, you know, you have visibility issues, um, like you're not able to see something or you want to, you know, scroll to the rightmost column but you are not able to do that just make a copy of it how do you make a copy go to this file this file and then make a copy and then it will create your own copy with which you can do whatever you want okay so this is the um timetable of eclave and here this also contains the exact uh, date and time and subject of the session all right so uh, date time session number everything is written here okay so everything uh, you you will know when you have classes of course, these classes will also reflect on your dashboard. But if you want the details here, you can check. In case if there is a mismatch between what you see here and what you see on the Vedantu dashboard, then what you see on the Vedantu dashboard will be considered more reliable. So, uh, go according to that. Okay, so this is the test, test detail. Now, let's come to the plan, test plan. So, whatever you saw on the presentation, that was copied from here only. All right, so all the details are here. So, your first test is on October 13, then October 20, October 27, then November 10. All right, uh, the missing Sunday in between is because of uh, the festival of Diwali. Okay, then you have November 17, again, the missing uh, Sunday, November 24. 
that is uh, missing because of the national standard examinations. Like many of you may want to participate in the first day of the Olympiad exam. So we are not keeping any test on that Sunday. Then December 1, December 8, December 15, 22, 29 and then January 5. So that will finish your phase 2. Okay, now comes the question that what are we going to do exactly in phase 2. So schedule is fine, the test plan is fine, what we are going to do. So let me show you the physics content. So guys, uh, this is the lecture number. Okay, uh, okay guys, I think uh, while preparing the sheet, I think I might have committed a small mistake. Uh, guys, here you will see the content of physics. I'll sh let me show you. Let me start with chemistry and then you will be able to understand better. I'll correct this guys. I'll correct this. I prepared this sheet today only. So in chemistry, you like you see that this is week number one, the lecture number one. So total of 22 lectures are going to happen. So this is lecture number one. In lecture number one, we are going to discuss uh, structure of atoms and what exactly are we going to discuss? So guys, before this lecture, like whenever this lecture is scheduled, before that, you have to actually attempt questions. From where are you going to attempt the question? So click on this link and when you click on this link, a PDF will open. Okay, uh, like this. See, a PDF opens. So this PDF is a question bank. Now, are you expected to do all the questions here? No, guys, no. You are not expected to do all the questions. We have made a short list of questions for you that you are expected to solve. So this is the short list. It exactly contains the question numbers that you need to solve. So the expectation is that before you join this particular class, the first lecture of chemistry, you should be, uh, you should have attempted all these questions and therefore the gap between the phase one and the phase two. The phase one ends somewhere around September 29th and phase two commences from October 7th. Why the gap? The gap is to ensure that you actually kickstart your solving, you get a head start in your solving so that there are better chances that you complete your homework and then join the session. All right, similarly, whenever you have lecture two of chemistry, in lecture two, you would be expected to uh, attempt uh, questions from this file. So everything is present in a properly organized manner. Click on this file, open this file. These are the question numbers that you need to attend. Okay. And then join the class, ask your doubts there. Okay. And now uh, let me come back to the schedule once there's an important point that I want to say. Um, see, I doubt it very much that uh, whatever questions I have put it here, like um, there are quite a number of questions here. So there may be a situation when, uh, you know, there are many questions from this list that you want to ask from your teacher. All right. So one thing that you should be, be aware is that the teacher will focus on the questions which majority of the students are asking. All right. There will always be someone who will ask one question, uh, a question that is uh, that almost the entire class has done. All right. So the priority will be given to the questions in which most of the students are facing difficulty. All right, so we are not going to discuss any question in which only one student is facing difficulty and the others are good for that question. So that is one thing that you have to keep in mind. The second thing that you need to keep in mind that um, even then it may happen that all the questions may not get finished in one discussion session. All right, so to counter this possibility, let me go back to the you know timetable. To counter this possibility, I have kept what is called as buffer sessions here and there, uh, not exactly here and there. So for example, if you look at uh, the chemistry classes, uh, there is one chemistry class here on Tuesday, then there is one chemistry class here on Friday, and then there is a chemistry class buffer Saturday. So this buffer class, they are already scheduled and they will be utilized, the teacher may, may utilize those classes to cover anything that is pending from lecture one or lecture two. Okay, the idea is that these two sessions should be good enough to discuss whatever homework we are giving to you. In case if the, those sessions fall short, then the buffer is already there. We can make use of the buffer. All right. Similar is the situation in physics. Similar is the situation in mathematics. And guys, also note one thing that I've tried to keep all the sessions in the night slot, 8.30 to 10 p.m. slot, so that most of you have chances to join that session. Like uh, I'm pretty sure that most of you are generally free in that uh, uh, window. Some of you, like the students who are enrolled in online batches and they have classes till 10 p.m., you may not be able to join the session in this but i don't think that will last long because uh in whichever batch you are if you are in single batch or in any other uh, you know online coaching institute i think by this time like your syllabus would be about to finish in, in somewhere in october so then you will be able to uh, participate here so in case if you are not able to attend these sessions live you can always make use of the recording all right the replays are always available so i've tried to keep session in the night slot as far as possible here it was not possible because of 
uh, Amit sir's uh, occupancy in other batches. All right, and the buffer sessions they are meant to actually take care of any shortfall in the time that you may have. All right, now coming to the plan. So this is what like a plan like this is shared in chemistry. A plan like this is also shared in math. Again, the same thing. Uh, you know, the lecture number is written here, the chapter number is written here, the file is present and the question numbers are here. All right, again, guys, there may be a situation where uh, you may not be able to attempt all these questions. Now, if you realize that, see, some students are fast, some students are slow, some take time. Um, you might have to revise these chapters before you attempt these questions. Actually, you should revise these chapters before you attempt these questions. So, there will be a situation when the you, 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 you may tell yourself that, oh, I'm not able to finish all the questions. Then what you, what, what you can do, guys? Go for alternate questions like 1, 4, 9, 13, 20. So attempt alternate questions first. That way you have completed, you have attempted the entire spectrum that, that we gave you. And um, you have also reduced by your work by 50%. And then if you are left with time, then you can go for the remaining questions, whatever you can do. All right. So that should be the way to attempt these questions. Um, document your work properly, guys. Uh, maintain separate copies for physics, chemistry, math. When you solve the question, solve them in a sequence. If you are not attempting a particular question, then leave space for that question so that when it is discussed in the class, then you can actually uh, yourself write down the solution of that question. All right. So uh, very important thing, guys. Uh, do this. And yeah, I think that, that pretty much that is it. So this sheet will be present with you and um, all the content will be present here. That, that That's it, guys, from my side. Um, those of you who are actually embarking on the journey of phase two, a uh, few points, guys, few um, attitude points that you need to keep in mind. First, don't give up, guys. Don't give up. Phase two is the grinding phase. And it is by going through this grind only that you will become a transformed individual. Do your best. Do your best to, to navigate through this hell. All right. This is actually hell. Okay, but when you reach the other side, you will be a transformed individual. You would have become a superhuman. You would have become a super aspirant. And you would have increased your probability of getting selected to ITs many fold. All right, so don't give up. Second point, when you start solving question of any particular chapter, ensure that you have done enough revision of the chapter. What all elements are present in revision? So you must revise your class notes. Uh, all the examples that were done in your class notes, you must go through them. And whatever first material you solved when you read that chapter for the first time, in that material you must have come across, you must have, pay, uh, you know, doubts uh, in that material. Uh, go through those doubts again and then start solving this. You will find that your speed has increased and you are getting more and more confident as you are able to solve these, these questions. All right. So that is my advice to you. Uh, happy learning, guys. And uh, let's, let's get into the IITs. All right. So I'll see you guys. Take care.